All right, guys. So finally, the day is here. Day reckoning showdown between the Beretta M983 and the Sig P226 Legion. Three mags. Gonna be shooting some of this Federal aluminum. Gonna be uh, comparing how how the, how it shoots and how it, you know the recoil and the accuracy, trigger and other stuff about it, sights and stuff. And then uh, maybe we'll have a little bonus show later on with uh, the the little brother of the Beretta family. A little bonus, uh, maybe have some bonus footage of that. All right, guys. Finally, shots fired. M nine eight three. Um, the trigger, I'm not sure, I've never had a Beretta, um, but it feels pretty good, it's not very, uh, it doesn't have a lot of play, the, the sights are right on out of the box. Like I said, the, the sights are pretty good. This uh, thinner grip, really, it really helps. Uh, I know the Berettas in the past have always had a real bulky grip, but um, it's less, slightly slimmer. It feels good. It's got a real high, real, uh, high bore, you know. And it gets a little slope for the finger. It gives you slightly higher grip for uh, for uh, um, closer to the bore axis. But I mean, so far, it's like in everything, sights are pretty accurate. It's just a one-handed. <laughs> I ain't the gun, that's me. This is some left handed manipulations. I mean, what can I say? Very first uh, 45 rounds. The one handed, it was me, I lost the sight somehow. Um, other than that, though, the gun shoots really good. Um, I really like it. The trigger. It's not crazy. It's not, I mean, the reset on it is not bad. You got a little bit of play to there. There's a wall, then it pops right there. The reset, it's there, and then you're there again. It's there, then it pops. It ain't too bad. I mean, there's a shorter reset on triggers. But I mean, other than that, it's really good. It feels really good in the hand. It's very balanced. The recoil is smooth. Um, it's not bad. I can't imagine how it feels with the, with the, with the compensator, but uh, silencer, but the way it is now feels really good. So for the first 45 rounds of aluminum, not bad. Uh, round one, first three magazines, the SIG Legion P226. First uh, three rounds with the Federal aluminum case ammo. Let's see how she goes. Right off the back, the trigger difference. Uh, very sensitive, very very short reset that second run I'm not gonna lie it, it popped off on me uh, when you have when you shoot different guns each guns got you gotta figure out your trigger but it kind of surprised me there but other than that though once you, you know where the triggers at it shoots really good it's really balanced and it likes to have it likes to still case ammo it ain't picky
that short, short, super, super short reset makes you want to shoot a little faster <laughs> because it resets and it's ready to go so easy and so fast. Uh, makes you want to take follow up shots. But uh, other than that, the P 226 Legion is feeling really good. The grip's feeling really, really good in the hand, too. A little one handed. I'm not sure what's happening with my, with my one hand today, but oh well, gotta find it. I seem to have my left hand <laughs> tuned in pretty good. Um, there you have it, guys. The first three magazines, flawless, no problem, no hiccups. Um, the same Legion B226 feels really good. I mean. It's a, it's a high tier gun, so you gotta compare it with an M9A3. Um, I like how it has also a high beaver, this and also like the Beretta for the high for the finger, so you can get a nice high high grip for when you shoot. You're closer to the bore axis, and uh, the sights are really good. I, I like the Triticon sights. Is up here, but um, other than that, guys, I mean, so far. As far as the trigger goes, very sensitive, uh, very short reset. As a matter of fact, let me show you right now. The, here's the, the trigger on the SIG. There's a game, there's a play, then pop, you're done. And the reset is so, so tiny, you're done right there, and you're ready to go. Short reset, there, and it's done. The SIG P226 Legion has a short reset trigger has been slightly enhanced even more to be super sensitive and have a really short trigger. So it's a double action of course. Second action, double action. Nice and smooth. Your first stuff. Uh, but let's keep going and uh let's see what they, how they act uh, later on a couple hundred rounds in them. Second round the M983 aluminum case ammo. Different guns, different sights, you know, gotta get back to it into this one. This gun loves that Luna case ammo, so it's gonna be a nice expensive gun that you can afford to shoot <laughs> with cheap ammo. Uh, the gun's more accurate than I am, I can tell you that much. Uh, arm fatigue, holding it up for three, uh, you know, for a long time. But the gun's very accurate. Sights are on. Like I said, it feels good. Badass as well. Recoil not too bad. Um, let's bring out the SIG. Alright, SIG P226 Legion. Back at it. SIG gun, you know, you gotta, you really gotta try to miss with these guns. They can pretty much shoot themselves. I uh, see they be shooting is better than the Beretta. 
Um, not sure why. Um, perhaps because I've owned Beretta uh, SIGs before, so I'm a little bit more accustomed to a SIG, how they handle, and I've never really owned a Beretta, but it's a SIG, guys. What can you, what, what else can I say? It's a SIG. It's not, they're good shooters. Close up. I'm really liking the SIG. Um, just feels really good in the hand. Shoots really good. Sights are tank drivers. Um, but like I said, SIG has always been a very accurate gun. The ones that I've owned. And that's my very first Beretta. Uh, of that style. I've had, I've had the PX4 Storm. But that's my first Beretta like that. So let's keep going. Three. Alright guys. We're still going with the Beretta. My shots are going a little bit to the right, but that's just me and the way I squeeze my trigger. I'm gonna go in and try to take a little bit, a little faster shooting. See how we see how it goes. I'm not gonna lie, um, the trigger. It's gotta take some getting used to because it's way different than the SIG. So it's kind of unfair to be out here shooting those both triggers when one of them's a real refined. But if I was just shooting this gun and I didn't have the SIG, it, it uh, I would definitely have it down. The gun's definitely accurate, like I said. Um, other than that, I mean, it's a good, it's a good gun. It's a good collector's piece. You know, it, it's um, it looks nice. If you want to get a, a suppressor later on. Um, it is a little, the the flip's a little, a little more, a little more recoil, I'm not sure why. Uh, maybe I'll experiment and get a, a, a steel guide rod. Maybe that'll help out a little bit with the, with the muzzle flip, but it seems that it's a little snappy compared to the SIG. And um, the, the size seems to be a little smaller, a little more narrow. I mean, like I said, if I only had this gun, I, be, I would get very good at it. You know, it's a good gun. You can you can shoot yourselves to a level of this gun because this gun's an accurate gun. But for now, I guess I'm more used to the SIG, and uh, I've owned more SIGs, so that's probably why I'm probably shooting them better. This is my first Beretta of this kind, the 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 M9 style, 92 and all that. Um, so other than that, though, I mean, it's, look at it, it's sweet, nice gun. It's gonna be your only one. You know, don't hesitate if you're a Beretta guy. Definitely uh, make the make the jump. If you're a SIG guy, then I mean you can't go wrong with the SIG Legion or the Extreme. But for now, like I said, it's a Beretta. It's a nice gun. It's a good piece to have. If you're gonna if you're gonna get it and own it and carry it, uh, then you really want to put your time into into the trigger. Trigger isn't too bad. Like I said, the trigger is actually good. It's just you comparing it to a SIG SRT trigger. So it's what it is. It's good. The other trigger is is fascinating. It's outstanding. So, 
but like I said, for now, this gun, Rock and Rose, I'd give it out of 10, I'd give it a eight and a half out of 10. You know, only because of this, the typical thing that we all don't like, this right here, nobody likes that, no one has ever liked that. Um, luckily, uh, for this model, we're right up with the, 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 the reset, the safety, how uh, they're aiming a little bit upward. So when you, when you do grab, you're gonna grab them, they won't go down because they're kind of like this. So when you're grabbing them, you're pushing them up, so they won't, they won't, they'll, they'll get stuck on there. Uh, you have the good sides for the for the resets. You got to reset with the clothing or your shoe. Um, other than that, like I said, this is a good gun. You just got to be into Beretta, or you got to be into Sig. If I were into Beretta, I would definitely, definitely want this gun. I'm not gonna get rid of it. This is a, this is one hell of a piece, um, and I'm definitely paying on keeping keeping coming out here and shooting it because it's an accurate trigger. It's an accurate gun. Everything about this gun is, is good. You just got to get used to it. Like I said, this is the very first shots. So let's wrap it up, guys. Uh, one thing I did notice here, I don't know what's all that. I don't know what happened here. Seems to be some sort of wear right here. <laughs> just from shooting it right now, a couple hundred shots, uh, Something sort of chipped out. I don't know what could have possibly hit there. None of the, I don't think any of the gun touches that. But um, other than that, like I said, she's the keeper. All right, guys. All right, guys. Uh, we're back to the Sig P226 Elite. No, Legion. My bad. And um, like I said. It likes the ammo, aluminum case, no problems with this kind of ammo, and I have shot some Monarch steel case ammo, no problems. Let's keep going. So much shots are going there to the right. That's like that's, that's just me and the way I squeeze my trigger. Far so good. Uh, it's shooting everything like, like butter. I'm gonna try to take a little bit um, faster shots. See if I can stay on target. Short recent trigger makes it a lot easier to take double taps because uh, it's super short. Uh, this requires more practice, you know, you gotta get a good strong grip, control the muzzle, the muzzle flip. But other than that though, I mean, I mean as far as recoil, it's slightly less than the Beretta. Um, it feels better in the hand. Um, it's not that long and everything, but I mean, I, all I can say about this gun is that I don't know how to keep it on. It's got great grips. It's got really good uh, sights. I mean, the trigger is awesome. I don't see uh, how it can be improved on by SIG. So, I mean, if you're a SIG fan and you want the top of the food chain, it's right here. Um, the Beretta is a nice gun. If you're a Beretta fanboy, it's a good gun to have. It's, it's very accurate. You know, but for me, it's, the SIG wins out of these two because. I guess I just shoot it better, feels better, the triggers, uh, uh, it's got, got a better trigger and everything. Uh, I guess I'm just a sick guy. I've never owned a Beretta, so I can't say that I'm not a Beretta guy. I've never owned a Beretta that style, but it's a keeper. Like I said, the Beretta M983, it's a keeper. It's a damn good gun. You know, it's good to have them both. But if I was going to carry one, i carry this also because it's smaller, shorter, not so long. You know, so I mean, easier to carry it, but... Here it is guys, the SIG V226 Legion. 
it's worth it's, it's worth the waiting gold guys it's an awesome gun